All right, welcome everyone. We're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Daily, Daily Lives, Lives of High, High School, School Boys, episode six. All right. Yep. Uh, we had a, a lot of funny uh, ridiculousness in the, <laughs> in the previous episode. Yes, lots of lots of bullying, lots of rescuing, mm-hmm. lots of miscommunication humor, and another appearance from the literary girl. Literary girl. girl. Yes, yep. yes, mm-hmm. the, the legend herself. Um, and, and, and she finally, in some ways, kind of laughed at the ridiculousness of, yes. of, of this whole thing <laughs> because as much as hidenori tried it just it wasn't good no it no. wasn't good no. <laughs> mm. and i love that he he genuinely like was terrified the yeah. minute the whole thing just kind of started to come just to that, being that slight pause before no <laughs> Yeah, like replace it with the cringy Darth Vader. No, yeah. and it would work just just perfectly. Um, I want to see more stuff from the from the girls as well. Consistently mm, every episode yes. as we have, I, I like the, the the antics they get into because high school girls are funky. <laughs> yes, yes, I loved, <laughs> I loved like the fact that he like shows the scar and it's like, did Ugh. you forget? Yeah, and then it's like, what happened? And she's like, <laughs> here's some money. <laughs> yeah. it's mm-hmm. those little like no explanation jokes where it's not just little random but there's like right. actually potentially a story behind yeah. the specific thing and that there's do. continuity like whether yeah. it's you know with the shaving or with the idea of what is under his hat have you ever seen him without his hat what's there i don't know right right now we know now we know yep. and i i just love that a show that was based upon kind of we're just gonna do dumb skits and you don't even have to remember the names because there's no continuity between this it's exactly. now starting to have little bits of continuity Mm -hmm. that go beyond just repeating a skit in a linear fashion eventually like Mm -hmm. having multiple parts of literary girl for yes so yeah there's lore for this show oh my god (laughs) y'all without further ado let's get into this all right everyone now be sure to go check out the reaction portion of the video in the description below and then come back here for the discussion Okay. okay, this episode had a lot of good goofy moments with yes. the uh, mm-hmm. the the high school uh, <laughs> the, the student, student council. council. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. But there were some surprisingly uh, serious moments. serious moments as well. Uh-huh. There was yep. the one with the the moment where Tadakuni's um, sister, 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 yeah. sister mm-hmm. she apparently got into a fight with a boy. Yeah, and they to her, and then they got into a fight, and he hit her. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Apparently, they they both hit each other though. Uh, according to the thing, right? I'm not sure. It, I I don't know if when she said fight, it was like a literal fight or like a, um, oh, or like gotcha. they got into like a talking fight. She was definitely ready to wail him when she went back. Gotcha. Um, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So 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 I guess I guess no. He was the only one that physically did something mm-hmm. necessarily. It's not it's not implied that um she did anything right. physical so so mm-hmm. yeah yeah in in a lot of ways here this was something where yeah it's a little bit of a it's a little bit of a situation here because uh-huh. y- yeah 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 and, and like i love how in the skit you know they're all like oh you know sorry we we can't go you know and it's like it's like wait whoa hold on he he, he did hit her like you know and then but then no 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 it's not that the angle they're going for is we don't want to tell you that we don't want to tell you that we're going, you know, because you need to, you know, like this it, is your thing. I, ideally you want to, you know, handle it yourself. Right. right. And they're in high school. It's not like, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, exactly. And then and then they just sort of, you know, but but they all they like all kind of separately, like <laughs> decide, decide, individually to but, go. you know, I'll go just to make sure. Right. it's all Okay. Right. Yeah. And I, I guess, I guess, in some ways, that that is a that is a good way to do it. Alternatively, however, I I still think it would have been maybe better for one of them to be like, oh, mm-hmm. I'll, I'll go. But I guess it's more of a setup for the gag, uh-huh. which is which is which is pretty funny because yeah. then you find out that she told basically a majority of the guy characters that we know in the story, except, except her brother, Tadakuni. because yeah. Tadakuni is useless in that regard, or she doesn't want to be vulnerable in front of her brother exactly. and say like, yep. mm-hmm. yeah, I got confessed to, and we got into a fight and all that. Mm-hmm. Um, one of the things that they did this episode that was kind of interesting was they showcased uh, a lot of the ways in which the girls in their lives can be quite terrifying. Yes. And mm-hmm. the girls are not 
like wholly to blame for that necessarily mm. there's certain complications and aspects about it that are you know uh, makes things a little bit interesting like you have the uh yoshitake's uh, older sister who is uh one of one of those uh, characters yes. who is yeah quite angry about the fact that she's kind of single a lot uh -huh. at key points during the year right and then uh, Hidenori of course has just no filter comes just out is and like, says it yeah you seem to be always home on Christmas on, on Christmas yeah and it's just like oh dude <laughs> then, dude that's and then there's no reason to say then, that of course of course Hidenori with because of the kind of person he is he runs away <laughs> properly you know but mm -hmm. then when she realizes there's couple everywhere it's all right. happy and i'm alone and right then he comes up puts an arm on her shoulder and it's says gonna be okay if you want i could pretend to be your boyfriend pretend, pretend to be your boyfriend <laughs> <laughs> and she's just like <laughs> yeah yeah just like that completely was completely mm, destroys him mm, oh wonderful. my god that that yeah. was that was wonderful but, but the idea that he actually uh, thought like maybe this will work like, right there's a shot here. yeah there's yeah. a shot uh, but the the skit at the end though with the girls and the fact oh, that yeah. it's not something where we're just kind of getting to see okay this is a little bit more of what's going on with their characters mm -hmm. but okay they each have their own problems for sure right but the one who seems to be more of the Tadakuni plot twist she actually mm -hmm. was more like those those high school girls from yep. before that were messing with uh Motoharu, Motoharu. Yeah. right and she was the arch demon <laughs> yeah. of middle school and it's like right oh yeah oh god so everyone mm -hmm. has this like intense hatred for her and even though she stopped being a bully she can't undo the past right so this whole situation where mm -hmm. she's like oh crap, I shouldn't have said that, is like, that's her trying to be reformed, is that yeah. she has those instincts to say something that's actually kind of kind of mean. just Kind of nasty, kinda yeah. Kind of nasty, and yeah. One of the things that I really appreciate about this is mm -hmm. that, like, when when they go to the, the person's house, right? Right. Because I'm expecting it to be a, a comedy kind of a thing, right. right? I'm kind of waiting for the other shoe to drop, right? right? For him to be like... Oh, definitely, you know, and then they go go <laughs> off together and then, you know, and they're like, no, you know, it backfired. But then instead it's it's something really serious, mm -hmm. you know, and and the idea that it's like, oh, like with all the other with all the other situations that we've had throughout this show. Sure. With the the girls being kind of uh, a bit psycho, abrasive. you know, abrasive. Yeah, that's a good <laughs> way of say saying the least. it. And and it's kind of making fun of the whole anime stereotype of the the sundere girl or whatever right. that's constantly beating up the the anime protagonist, right? Right. But then here we have a situation where it's like, no, 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 being like that, it actually like if if that were to happen in some sort of like realistic right. setting, it would actually have some pretty negative long term consequences. Where it's yeah. like. Oh, now I have trouble, you know, like making friends and and mm -hmm. and definitely with the opposite gender because a lot of them remember me and they don't don't like me. They don't like me, and yep. I can't blame them. Kind of a thing, right? Yep. In, so, in, in some respects, I, I really liked how this episode was also used to show that the student council gets basically put upon quite a bit. Yes. And a lot of it ends up being people where they're like, I I, I have an issue that needs solving. And some of them are ones that they can't solve for them. Mm -hmm. This is one that has to do kind of with your personality, maybe in some ways as well. Or, or your dog has nothing to do with the school. Like, <laughs> like what, what, what I love is that is that they're at an all boys school, and sometimes it'll be like like when Tanakuni's right. sister came in at first, like it got serious later. But they're like, wait, wait, wait you, why are you here? Why, why are you here? You don't even go to this school. Like, like. <laughs> I also thought they were going to go into something rather like, oh, this is this is unique, where they'll be like, I was confessed. It's like, oh, at which school? Right, right. And then it'd be like, at my school. And they'd be like, oh, okay. And you're like, I don't know how to handle this or something. Like, that right. would be like, uh -huh. oh, okay. And it's like, oh, yeah. and, and apparently she's heard from Tadakuni that we are, uh, you know, good people to go to about stuff like this, you know. But then it's actually something way more complicated. Uh, um, yeah, yeah. Uh, the, 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 the bit of the, no, no, like, yeah. like it reminded me of Jotaro, like quite a bit of just the, no, 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 no. Yes, 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 yes. 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 Oh my God. Yeah. But, but also that Rohan with the dog, Kotowaru, you know, and, and there's so many times where I've had this kind of realization where mm. I need to say no more often. Yeah. And not 
really let people then once you say no then tr continue to try and convince you into saying yes yeah it's very rude it's very inconsiderate mm -hmm. and it's yep. not listening as well right. but i I, <laughs> I love that he's trying to make a good point like motoharu is like no, yeah but i'm i'm like help me out here and then he's all like we won't do this ever and he's making all these definitive statements for well, the whole group and he's like no <laughs> well and in some cases it might be that he's agreeing with him but he's also right. having fun with him because he's like yes. all right I will say no to every request that comes in from here on out. Mm -hmm. No. Yeah. No. Right. <laughs> yeah. Um, one of the things that I feel like might have been some potential lore stuff going on here mm. is the girl at the end who was revealed to be a junior high or middle school bully, Hab Habara. Uh -huh. um, when Karasawa walked past her, he gave like a, like yeah. kind of uh -huh. a, like a snide kind of little bit there. And I was like, huh, I wonder why they did that. And there's, there's the bit where you know there's the, the scar. scar. So maybe that wasn't so, just one person that did it. You know, maybe it wasn't. Maybe it wasn't just that, but it was the aspect of remember when uh, she like cried and came to pay the money. Was that to her? Him. I think it was. Oh dang! Yeah. So. So there's yeah. a possibility yeah. that like think, we yeah, actually that, now uh -huh. just connected all the dots there. Right, for for exactly what the circumstances were, you know, because right. otherwise it's like, yeah, right, because for her, she was the normal one. So why was it that she was the one paying him? Right. That's a good point. I'd never thought of that about so, that before. So there's, oh, man. there's this thing where I was like, wait a minute, did we actually just get this really cool, just interconnected web of the reason why Karasawa seems so much like a intimidating mm. delinquent bully kind of character is actually because he's been like he's been like his wings have been clipped in yeah, terms of socially confidence and emotionally traumatized because like, of the fact that he was bullied by this girl mm -hmm. way back when and in, in uh because i assume he's either a junior or a senior at this point right oh now you know it's interesting but, uh, yeah oh wait no no never mind i i thought for, for a second i got it mixed up and thought that the person that they went to the house of was uh uh kurosawa or whatever his name is. Um, no, it was a new character. Yeah, it was a new character. But but I noticed that it was still a uh, a five thousand yen bill. You know, so, uh, and that was what. And that did was, he give a five thousand yen bill? Uh, yes. I almost thought it was bigger, but well, because five thousand yen would be fifty bucks. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. five thousand yen. Yeah, You're right. Yeah. So, or you know, uh, if you assume a hundred to a dollar, you know. Yes. But yes. um, which is it isn't exactly, but uh, um. But, but that, that was, was the also, same bill that, that she was, used. That was the same size of bill that she gave to um, Kurosawa. Oh, so maybe that was what she demanded back in the day. And so the uh -huh. act of her giving that specific right, it's bill like, back I'm is sorry. basically saying, like, yeah. please take the money back. Sure. The money back yeah. that you gave to me. Right. Like, like, And he's not taking it back is like a thing of saying, I, I haven't forgiven you yet. So sure. like, there's, did, there's did some, he take it back from her? I don't think, in the he, previous I don't think he did. I almost want to go and double like, check but, here. Was it episode four? Uh, five. Five. Are you sure? Yeah. Is that the 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 end here? Yeah. Right. Right. Because they're all trying to like hit him and stuff, and he's blocking and whatnot. And he's and she's in the background just being like, "I'm uh -huh. not okay with this." And oh, oh yeah, she's yeah. Like, I don't think you should worry about that scar anymore. It's been a few years since it happened. He's like, "That's a good one, Habara." And, and then, then she gives the five thousand. Yeah. Yeah, and Bill's like, I'm sorry. And then they're like, don't give him money. That's just pathetic. So they don't really even know. Really they, they don't know. get what it is that happened exactly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And and then that makes a whole lot more sense why she was called the Ark Demon. Because because that scar, that's a that's a serious scar. That's not a I punched you kind of a thing. That, that's like, like he a, could have been blinded, potentially. Right, right. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Holy crap. There's yeah. some there's some interconnected Lore. webs of, yeah. <laughs> of stuff going on here. And, that's that's awesome. And what I love about this is that all this, you know, all this kind of lore stuff is stuff that you don't actually need. Right. You don't need and it. No. Because, because it's, it's a, just there. It's a basic daily lives of high school boys, you know, skit, skit comedy, skit comedy, right? Yeah. Sitcom, you know, yeah. yeah, exactly. There's, you don't need to have anything complicated there. But then when you do have these extra little bits of layers, uh -huh. it tells this fun story that you can discover. Oh my god! And, and like when you're discovering a story, it's so much more fun than when you're getting told a story. You know? Yeah. So yeah. I just, I love it. 
<laughs> oh my gosh. But wonderful show, wonderful episode, lots of cool comedy with the serious mm-hmm. stuff there. And yep. I, I just love the student council more and more every time we get to see them together. It's just wonderful. So having the big pile of money and being like, what do we do? What are we doing? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so we get a lock for the door. <laughs> right. So y'all, thank you so much for watching this episode's reaction and discussion. If you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion right now, though, go check out the link in the description below for our Patreon. You can get on early access there. You can watch full length timer reactions there. And all this comes with Discord access. So you can chat with us and the community there about this show, about anime in general. And you can talk with Jacob about the sci-fi novel that he wrote. That's right. I wrote a sci-fi novel called Battle Lines and it's awesome. And it's on Amazon if you want to get it. Link in the description down below. Go check it out. Yeah, so if any of that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time. time.